students in this question we have to find the limit of 1 plus 1 upon n multiplied by 1 plus 2 by n whole power 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3 by n whole power 1 by 3 and so on multiplied by 1 plus n by n whole power 1 by n when n tends to infinity. Here each term of this, this sequence are in total. We can see here this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term and this is the n term. And all these terms of this sequence are in multiplication. So we use here logarithm. So first we suppose that, let us suppose that a equal to limit n test to infinity of 1 plus 1 upon n multiplied by 1 plus 2 by n whole power 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3 by n whole power 3 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 plus n by n whole power 1 by n. Now we take log on both sides. Taking log on both sides. Taking log on both sides. So this is log a equal to limit n tends to infinity log of 1 plus 1 upon n multiplied by 1 plus 2 by n whole power 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3 by n whole power 1 by 3 plus multiplied by 1 plus n by n whole power 1 by n. आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर both sides का log लिया गया है. So log a is equal to limit n to infinity log of this. Now we using here formula log of m multiplied by n multiplied by c and so on equal to log m plus log n plus log c and so on. So we using this formula here. So this can be written as log of 1 plus 1 upon n plus log of 1 plus 2 by n whole power 1 by 2 plus log of 1 plus 3 by n and so on plus log 1 plus n by n whole power 1 by n and so on. आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर log की property का use किया गया है. So log m into n into p and so on can be written as log m plus log n plus log p and so on. So in this term, there is, suppose this is n, this is n, this is p and so on. So this is log m plus log n plus log p and so on. Also we use the formula log m to the power n can be written as log n log n. Here this n power comes before the log. So we can write this log of 1 plus 1 upon n plus this can be written as 1 by 2 log of 1 plus 2 by n. Here the power is 1 by 3 so this can be written as 1 by 3 log 1 plus 3 by n plus and so on here 1 upon n log of 1 plus n by n. Aap dek sakte hai ya power 1 by 2 ye log ke before mein aayegi 1 by 3 comes before the log 1 by n comes before the log. Here we can write also 1 by 1. So now we find the general term of this sequence that is the rth term of this sequence. Here we can see that in the first term there is 1 by 1, in the second term this is 1 by 2, in the third term this is 1 by 3, in the inner term here is 1 by n. So in the rth term there will be 1 by r. And in each term there will be log, in first term there is log, in second term there is log, in third term there is log, in inner term there is log, so in rth term there will be also log. In the first term this is 1 plus, in the second term there is 1 plus, in the third term there is 1 plus, in the inner term there is 1 plus, so in the rth term there is 1 plus. Now in the first term there is 1 by n, in the second term there is 2 by n, in the third term there is 3 by n and in the inner term there is n by n. So we write here 
and the, we write here r by n. Now we write here sigma psi. So taking limit here, when we write here r equal to 1, we get the first term because 1 by 1 here and this is log 1 plus 1 by 2. When we put r equal to 2, we get the second term that is 1 by 2 and here when we put r equal to 2, we get log 1 plus 2 by 2. If we put here r equal to 3, so this is 1 by 3 and log 1 plus 3 by n. When we put r equal to n, we get the last term that is 1 upon n multiplied by log 1 plus n by n. So, this is the compact form of this sequence. Now, we can write this also. This can be written as sigma r equal to 1 to n and this can be written as 1 upon r divided by n log 1 plus r by n multiplied by 1 by n because this n cancel by this n. So, we know that we know that number 1 in place of limit n test to infinity and sigma, we can write here, we can write here integral sign. So, we write here integral sign. And in place of r by n, this is equal to x. So, we put here 1 upon x multiplied by log 1 plus x. In place of r by n, we put here x. And we know that 1 upon n, this is equal to dx. So, put here dx. Now, we find the integral of this limit. So, we know that x equal to r by n. And the lower limit of r is 1. So, this is 1 upon n. And n tends to infinity here. So, we write 1 upon infinity that is equal to 0. So, the lower limit of this integral is 0. Similarly, for upper limit x equal to r by n. Here the upper limit of r is n, so this is n by n, and n by n this is 1, so here we write 1. Now we, we can see this is first term, this is the second term from i net. Now we integrate this. So for integration, first we, now for integration this, first we using expansion of log 1 plus x using expansion of log 1 plus x. So, here we can see that, here we can see that log of a equal to integral 0 to 1. We know that expansion of log of 1 plus x can be written as x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x4 by 4 plus and so on and dx. This is the expansion of log 1 plus x. Now we multiply this 1 upon x in this bracket. So we get here 1 minus this x cancelled by this square. So this is x upon 2. This x cancelled by this cube. We get x square by 3. This x cancelled by this power 4. We get x cube by 4 plus and so on. Now we integrate each term with respect to x. So integration of 1 with respect to x is x here. When we integrate this x by 2, so 1 upon 2 is constant here and integration of x is x square by 2, so this can be written as x square divided by 2 square. Similarly, when we integrate this x square by 3, so 1 upon 3 is constant, so it comes outside the integral sign and integrate x square with respect to x, so this is integration of x square is x cube by 3, so this can be written as x cube upon 3 square. And here, when we integrate x cube, we get x to the power 4 divided by 4, so this is 1 upon 4 square and so on. And applying the limit, when we apply the upper limit in place of x, we get 
वन माइनस वन बाई टू स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस वन बाई फोर स्क्वायर एंड सो ऑन एंड वेन वी अप्लाई लोअर लिमिट ऑल दिस टर्म्स बिकम्स जीरो यहाँ पर जब अपर लिमिट एस के प्लेस पर रखेंगे तो ये सीक्वेंस बनेगी माइनस लोअर लिमिट रखने पर ऑल द टर्म्स विल बी जीरो सो दिस इज इक्वल टू लॉग इन वी नो दैट दिस सीक्वेंस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सीक्वेंस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सीक्वेंस इज पाई स्क्वायर अपॉन ट्वेल्व वी नो दैट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सीक्वेंस इज इक्वल टू पाई स्क्वायर अपॉन ट्वेल्व We have to learn this. So a equal to e to the power pi square by 12, which is the limit of the given sequence. Since we have to learn this, one minus one by two square plus one by three square minus one by four square plus and so on. This is equal to pi square upon 10, and we have to learn this sequence. so we can see here the limit of this above sequence is e to the power pi square upon 10 thank you